Battlefront 3 gameplay, of course, is being kept behind closed doors at the Star Wars Celebration this weekend. Fortunately for you, I've got the lowdown on what the multiplayer gameplay had in store. EA flew me out to DICE Stockholm in Sweden last week, where I was able to see the gameplay in that trailer, and I'll be going into some detail in this video. If you want to hear more about uh, the actual general gameplay of what the video was about, as well as some talk about third person, first person being confirmed, Jedi's, vehicles, check out my previous video. In this one, I'm going into a little bit more detail, starting with a lot of stuff that you won't find out by just watching the trailer. First, let's start by deciphering the HUD. The health bar, the enemy's health bar, the mini-map, all things that we saw in Battlefront 2 are not all quite there in Battlefront 3. Starting with the health bar, there's no more health bar. How it was in Battlefront 2, you took damage, that blue bar went down, and it didn't even regenerate. Battlefront 3, I saw no indicator for health, there was no indication of any robots across the map to heal you, and there was no med kits dropped down by any other players. There was also no enemy health bar. In Battlefront 2, whoever you were aiming at, their health bar appeared on the top. Whether it was vehicles, players, wasn't in Battlefront 3. One thing that was there was the mini-map, though. This was now down in the left-hand corner in place of where the health bar was, and it seemed to have friendly indicators as dots there, and some enemies as dots as well. But this was not like Battlefield's radar system where you have a lot of detail of all the different areas. Or even Battlefront 2, where you saw the players on the map based on the terrain and everything. It did have some functionality like that, but overlaid on top of it almost, it had a more motion sensor type of indicator where it was telling you what direction players were coming from. And I don't know if this was people spotting where those players were and then it tells you the, just the direction or if it was their motion when they were moving or shooting even. Um, that's how it is, at least like in Halo, you have more of motion direction and that's what it seemed to be like. As for weapons, this is where things started to get a lot more unique. There was no ammo indicator. We didn't see him pick up any ammo. I didn't even see him pick up any other or have an option to pick up any other weapons from other players. Now, that's kind of besides the point, but going back to the weapons, while he was shooting, actually had a bar starting to fill up as if it was overheating, which is the system that we saw in Battlefront 2 for secondary weapons, for tanks, for turrets, and variety of other things, and it's been in other games as well, but this was for his primary weapon, and I don't know if it was just the specifics of that gun. There was no additional indicators, even an infinity sign like we saw in Battlefront two in the bottom left hand corner for when it was unlimited ammo type of weapon where it just kept on recharging or um, only had the overheating mechanism but I don't think that this would be spread for all of the different guns in the game right this is I haven't seen at least a game before that's had only an overheat mechanism for weapons. Now, if you're familiar with Battlefield 3 and 4, then you're familiar with the squad system and seeing on the HUD what members are in your squad. There was no indicator of that in this game. And there was also no indicators of little mechanic symbols or pluses for medics within the game, or there was no symbols over player's head indicating that. And I went back and looked at some Battlefield 3 and 4 gameplay trailers, and those actually did have squads featured, at least showed them on the map there. So maybe this is something that isn't in the game, or he just wasn't using it at the time. Either way, I really hope it is. I liked having the squad aspect, especially when it came to playing your role. And there was no direct indicator of anybody's specific role, whether they were a medic or anything, which was something we saw in Battlefield 3, 4, and even in Hardline. But when you look at Battlefront 2, it was actually designated just by how your character looked. Of course, with Battlefront 2, you had no customization within any of those classes, so it was easier to predict what players were, and there was no direct indicator that I could see, at least, from the in-game gameplay in terms of what class was what. Another piece of UI that was really interesting was there was four slots in the lower right hand corner for what looked like weapons as well as a pickup. There was a missile launcher pickup during the footage where he picked up a rocket launcher, shot it, 
and it seemed to only have one shot, and they, it just seemed to be randomly scattered across the map. It may have specific locations, like we saw with Hardline's recent release. Um, they were just in specific locations for it, or it might be random, but that seemed to fill that fourth slot, and the other three were just primary things that he had the entire time we were watching the gameplay. And this could be something specific to the class that he's using. Maybe certain equipment is available to each class, like we've seen with a lot of these other games, as well as would that would make sense with the class system that was in Battlefront 2 and it looked like there were guns that were there but I think this would be something similar to gadgets because we also saw other players using these different gadgets in the game and I got to imagine they need to bring them in somehow and using up one of those slot positions for a gadget just how it is in the previous Battlefield games would make sense the only types of gadgets that we've really seen so far in the game is uh, the jetpack which also could just be a battle pickup something that when you pick it up, you have a certain amount to use of it. Maybe just going to that extra slot. But that's pretty much everything that we know so far from that in-game footage. Just quite a lot of stuff. Don't forget to subscribe if you are new. You can check out my previous video where I go into some more details, as well as I'm doing a giveaway for Battlefront 2 on PC for uh, Steam. You can also check out my recommended video for some Battlefront 2 gameplay, where I actually talk about the gameplay if you want to hear more about that if you never played it. That wraps this one, though. Thanks so much for watching, and I'll see you in the next one. This is Stone Mountain 64 signing out.